Hey, are you looking to have more fun at home, but you don't think you have the space? Why don't you consider turning your basement into an entertainment area? Now, this is a project for the pros. And there are key questions to ask every contractor. Our home improvement insider, Adam Helfman, with our partner, HireItDone.com, has a checklist. So the renovation business is heating up and homeowners are planning their big projects for the year. Today we're going to talk about basement renovations, how to turn your basement into a lower level. We're in a recently completed lower level and as you can tell you've got high ceilings, wide open spaces, a brand new bar with quartz tops. This was a basement at one time. Let's take a look and see how this begins. We're in the unfinished portion of this basement. As you can see, the walls are exposed. You've got all kinds of storage, exposed ceilings. You've got the insulation showing over here, your mechanical area, plus you got paint cans and leftover building materials. So the key when you're hiring a professional to remodel your basement, it's to make sure that he understands the space, he understands your lifestyle, and he'll design, based on your needs, the right plan. So another reason why you want to hire a professional basement remodeling company is that they're going to incorporate your needs in all the designs and they're going to make room for storage as well. One important note that you need to know when you're finding a basement remodeling contractor is that they must be knowledgeable in the right building materials. For example, this looks like a regular piece of base molding, but it's really made out of cellular PVC. And as you can see down here, it's installed. It looks just like wood. And guess what? It's mold and mildew resistant. Additionally, take a look at this floor. It looks like hardwood, but really, it's a luxury vinyl plank. And just like the trim, it's mold and mildew resistant. Oh, and I forgot to mention, they're both waterproof. So now that you've decided to invite a few contractors into your house, let me give you a few questions you must ask every one of them. Number one, ask for customer references and make sure they're for similar projects that you're looking to do. Also, ask about a lifetime warranty. When they come to your house, make sure they bring project photos for ideas and inspiration. And one more thing, when you've decided to hire your contractor, make sure that he puts everything in writing, including how long the job should take. So you can decide whether you want a bar area, a home theater, a game area, or all three. No wonder mm -hmm. some people mm -hmm. have trouble getting the kids out of the basement. I'm Come you. on, that's great looking. I wouldn't place, leave. Huh? Adam Helfman is here from HireDone.com, and you know you think about this idea of going into a basement. Mold and mildew are often a problem in a basement, right? Yeah, and they can really turn into an uncomfortable. They can turn a comfortable living space into something not good. Well. If you're going to invest in your lower level, mm -hmm. you might as well make sure that it resists mm -hmm. any outside forces that are going to ruin it. Mm -hmm. So what do we think of first? Okay, so today we brought a sample of a basement wall that is inorganic material. So it's mold and mildew resistant, and that's the theme throughout everything. So this right here. So this is, is a side view yeah, of it? Sample of a concrete wall, let's say. Okay. Okay, and then this is a non-inorganic material that's insulatable. And it has the two by fours built into it. Okay? okay. And then you put the inorganic drywall on it, so nothing, no mold, mildew, anything, mm -hmm. and it's paintable. Uh huh. This side is the, the, the same wall where it's divided out, so if you need to put plumbing through it, you can do the plumbing. Oh, and same for electrical, oh. kind of. Electrical. Too, this right? one yeah. has electrical built in. Oh, it does, okay. But wow. at the same time, oh. and, it's, and it's done and designed so that it's soundproof and mold and mildew resistant, which is what most people want today. Yeah. So awesome. the good news is you start yeah, with the good cool. foundation because right. if you start putting in the decorative stuff and you've got a problem that creeps in, then right. what? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing. So like flooring, we've talked about luxury vinyl tile. Mm -hmm. Well, they make specific flooring for basement floors. Mm -hmm. Now, you, obviously, most basement floors are concrete, so it's a little bit cold sometimes. These are insulated, they're waterproof, nice. mold-proof, mildew-proof. Nice. Okay. Here's a new one, and you can see together how this is. Um, you know, hold it like this. It snaps and clicks together. Mm -hmm. And what's unique about it, and I'm going to flip it over, is that it lifts off the concrete. So if you do have a flood, it's real simple. Snap it out, clean it off, dry everything up, and then put it back down. Brilliant. So it saves money in case there's an insurance claim. And now listen, your power's gone out. 
Mm. What happens? Yeah, Some yeah. pump, if you don't have the battery backup or the other kind, you might get a flood in your basement. True. Right. So these are great tools, and you've actually saved your basement. Mm. Trim, this is PVC molding. Looks just like wood, can be painted, but looks great white. Most people use choose that color. And I've had this problem, so a little water comes in, and you've got a baseboard that's out of wood. In and water. even though the floor is fine and you save the basement, the, the wood is shot. That's right. right. Yeah. yeah. So here again, um, is what they show. This is called Silver Glow, which is the wall panel, and you can see mm -hmm. it resists mold, mildew. If there's any moisture, it reflects the heat, mm. keeps everything nice. nice and easy. So here, basement, the poles, stanchion poles Got in the it. basement. Everyone wants to know how do you get rid of them, what do you do? Well, here's a beautiful way. It's PVC, it's inorganic. You can surround your poles, any is, size. Are these various pieces of molding, or is this yep. like a kit? It's a kit. Oh, it is? Very yeah, nice. yeah, and so it comes with that. So when you want to remodel your basement and you want to do it right, yeah. you got to think of that unplanned event, which could be a flood, this is the way to go. You really got to think ahead, think of everything that could happen. This right. is great information, Adam. Thank you. All right, so we know that you're going to be uh, hosting our face on Facebook, right? Yep. Right after the show? Facebook Live. Uh, this is going to be Facebook Live, Local Four's Facebook page. Uh, tell us what are you talking about today? Okay, so we're going to give everyone the do's and don'ts and four things everyone needs to know about mm -hmm. basement uh, renovations, turning your basement into a low level. And for everyone that lost their power, have wind damage, shingles blown off, sure. siding, we're gonna give you tips on what to look for and how to get it fixed quickly. This is awesome. Good this stuff. awesome. Well, we, we, incur we encourage you guys, our viewers, to join the conversation with Adam after the show. Go to facebook.com slash local four. That's the number four. This is great. And then ask him questions. We can get it all together. This is the perfect time to start thinking about all of this. And if you're looking for a contractor to perhaps remodel your basement or some other project, visit hireitdone.com. All of their contractors are pre-screened. Over to you, Jason. Yes. Thank you, Healthy. All right. Hey, uh, that uh, live that you did last week went pretty well, I hear. Oh, record. Record, says Adam Helfman. <laughs> so if you watch uh, Jason Carr Live, the 915-ish, we call it, on the Local 4 Facebook page, that's the same place that you can find Adam after the show.